Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Suzanne. It's great to see you today and have you with us. Okay, let's get started, but I'm going to have you guess. What do you think Storytime's about today? All right, put your listening ears on. Now listen to the sound. What does that sound like? What do you think? Rain, yes, it sounds like rain. And that's what our story time's about today. It's about rain. Okay, let's get started. Okay, everyone, we're going to make a rainstorm. Do you know the sign for rain is this? Just move your hands down like that. Good job. Okay, but we're going to, I'm going to use sticks to make the rainstorm. But if you have two wooden spoons at home, or even if you don't, why don't you use your pointer fingers and knock them together like sticks? Okay, so the rain goes drip, drip, drip. And then we're going to do thunder, boom, boom, boom. And then lightning goes crack, crack, crack. And then what do we use to keep us dry in the rain? What do you think? An umbrella. Okay, let's get started. The rain makes a sound like drip, 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 drip. The rain makes a sound like drip, drip, drip. I hear rain. The thunder makes a sound like boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. The thunder makes a sound like boom, boom, boom. I hear thunder. The lightning crashes. The lightning crashes. I see lightning. Now what do we need? My umbrella keeps me dry, 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 dry. My umbrella keeps me dry, I am dry. Great job, everyone. Okay, now it's letter time. Let's see what letter we're going to talk about today. Well, if we're talking about rain, what letter do you think rain, r r rain starts with? What do you think? R r rain. Yes, the letter R. Very good. Rain begins with the letter R. Okay, let's try to write a capital or what we call an uppercase R together. Get your finger ready, your pointer finger. Remember our letters start at the top. One straight line down a curve around, and then a diagonal out. Let's try that one more time. Straight line down, a curve, and a diagonal line out. Very good, you just wrote a capital R. Awesome, okay, but before we go, what other word begins with the letter R? Let's see, we wear it in the rain. And sometimes it has a hood. What do you think it is? A what? Raincoat, very good. Raincoat begins with the letter R. Okay, one more word. Oh, this comes out usually after it rains and there's the sun shining in the sky. What do you think it is? It comes out after the rain when the sun's shining in the sky. What do you think? Yes, a rainbow. Very good. So we have rain, raincoat, and rainbow. Great job, everyone. Okay, now let's take a walk in the rain, but we have to get dressed first. Let's see what we have to wear. Okay, when I go walking in the rain, I wear a plastic coat. 
What color is that coat? Yes, yellow. Very good. And put on boots that go slosh, slosh, slosh when walking in the puddles in the road. I take my, what's that? Red umbrella, very good. And put on my plastic hat. How can I get wet when I am dressed like that? So we have what? A yellow plastic coat or a ring coat. A yellow plastic hat. We have on our black rain boots and our red umbrella. Great job, everyone. Let's stay dry. Our book today is called Puddle Jumpers by Anne Margaret Lewis. On a spring day in the month of May, the rain poured down in a stream. A rainbow appeared with a gleam and a glow and a puddle awaited Sam's dream. There it is. Mother said, no jumping in puddles. You must keep clean today. But Sam dipped his galoshes with a splish and a splash when the puddle invited him to play. The puddle whispered, jump, puddle jumper, jump. As Sam jumped, he wished. I wish I were a frog in a pond with a hat and some spots and a magical wand. Leap, puddle jumper, leap. Can you leap? Leap, leap. I wish I were a croc in the glades with pink polka dots and teeth like blades. Snap, puddle jumper, snap. What color is that crocodile? Yes, green. I wish I were a brave, bold shark with a sword and sharp teeth in an ocean park. Chomp, puddle, puddle jumper, chomp. Uh-oh. What's that? Yes, a flamingo. And the flamingo is what? Red with pink stripes, very good. I wish I were a red striped flamingo, prancing and dancing the one-legged tango. Dance, puddle jumper, dance. Can you dance? I wish I were a toucan in a tree, swinging in the rainforest, drinking iced tea. Swing, puddle jumper, swing. What's Sam on a what? Yes, a dragonfly. I wish I were a swift dragonfly flying along the marsh like a top secret spy. Fly, puddle jumper, fly. I wish I were a snail in a race. I'd scurry in the sand, winning first place. Scurry, puddle jumper, scurry. Can you scurry? Good job. Sam stopped for a moment. The puddle whispered again. Jump, puddle jumper, jump. As Sam jumped, he wished, and the most magical thing happened. Oh gosh, what do you think happened? Mom saw Sam smile with, and with a leap, then a thump, she jumped to cheering, jump, puddle jumper, jump. <gasps> Mom jumped in the puddle with Sam, yay, they had a great time together. The end. It's that time during story time where we wave goodbye. But remember, in our goodbye song, we do the sign for friends and we also stomp our feet and we wave goodbye, okay? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. 
With all our friends at story time, we wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye today. We wave goodbye today. We stomp our feet at story time. We wave goodbye today. Bye, everyone.